I would like to go to the arid one. So I'm going to pick a spot down here and we're going to check this one out. Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Astroneer with me Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. You might be thinking, where has all my base gone? Well, as we discovered in the last episode, the FPS started to become a problem. What it was, I think, is I started that game um, getting all this ready for expanding my base. I started all that game before the game was actually released and there was different updates and stuff like that. So I think that had an effect because terrain started getting buggy and different things like that. So what we are going to do is I'm going to start a brand new game here. But I'm not going to make you watch every single thing. I flattened this all out, hoping that would <laughs> stay at the same level. And of course it doesn't. Well, thank you very much. Game. Um, I'm going to skip through to try and get nice and far into the game. So you guys don't have to see all the basic stuff again. But I'm going to bring you in every now and again when something particularly exciting happens. So let's start off with... I mean, a vehicle bay would be nice, but we're probably going to have to smelt some stuff. Let's do a printer. We need some copper. So I'm going to look around. We're going to grab some stuff. By the way, oh, that tether's decided it's not going to attach anymore. There we go. That's good. By the way, we landed here on this lovely planet. Lots of cool things and resources right nearby. And also, this popped off, and I got some resin and some copper. So, yeah, I'm going to start building up some of these machines, and I'll bring you back in, whoops, very soon, when I've got some of those. Research pod. Excellent. Smelter. Go. Excellent. Oh, dark, spooky cave with lots of research and stuff, I'm sure, but we're on the hunt for copper, so I'm going to keep my eye out for that. As best I can. Woohoo! Copper! Fantastic. It was only round the corner as well. I'm probably full up on all sorts of other stuff. Uh, let's see. We can put some of these on the sides. We could get a couple of copper. Oh, what a save. <laughs> He's gone down the hole. See you later. Oh, man. That looks like a long way down, doesn't it? Good grief. Right, we want to smelt up our copper. Let's get some power going on here. There we go. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. Quite possibly not. Let's see. Enough to get a couple. No, okay. <laughs> I was hoping that would be enough. Let's grab some more power. I think there's some power, actually. Is that, the, is that the nearest power? I think this is the only one. Okay. Wow, amazing cave. Aluminium. Copper. Hydrazine. Gaseous plants that I've got rid of that I'll have research under them. All sorts of stuff going on down there. Here we go. Plenty of power. Let's get this smelted up. Excellent. And then we can make our printer. So now we can start supplying our base with our own power. Fantastic. Oh, and we can do some research as well. We'll come back to that one. Let's research this thing. Let's see what we're going to get. This is an excellent place. There's so many cool resources really nearby. Very pleased. Please be solar panel or something like that. Solar panel. Solar panel. Filters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course, we can already make the solar panel. Hooray. <laughs> Let's make that. And then we'll go mining for some more stuff. Have I got any more power? I've got a tiny bit of power. Let's add that on there. That will finish off that copper. Fantastic. And now we have a solar panel. Whoops. There we go. So when it's daytime, we can provide power for everything. Nice. Just what I need. Some more aluminium so we can make our vehicle bay. Let's grab as much of this as I can. And here we go. We have laterite, which is aluminium ore. Let's add four of these on. Excellent. We'll stick the other ones here. Oh, actually, that's going to be coming off of there, isn't it? There we go. Let's put that on there instead. Oh, it needs a bit more power. We can help with that. And we have some research. Let's grab that one. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Let's see. Something exciting. Fuel condenser. Yep, that is definitely worth having for later on. Fantastic. Let's finish off these two. 
There it goes. That one's going to get spat on the floor. No, nope, that one's not finished. Right, so that's our copper. We need aluminium. So there's one. And there's two. That's it. We can build our vehicle bay. Let's stand back out of the way. Perfect. That is just what we need. That's going to fill up with power. Excellent. Oh no, this isn't good. Stuck out in a windstorm, not connected to the tethers. Oh, this is going to start getting rough. Let's dig my way down. Stay connected. Get around a corner. Oh, we should be okay. And wait for this to pass. Oh, you can hear them going past. Good grief. I wanted to go straight for the big truck, but we don't have the ability to make that yet. We need more research, so let's use the little truck to go out and grab some research and hope we don't run out of power. No, we've made it. Excellent. So the next thing we need to make is a seat to go on that. Uh, we can make one seat. We need a couple more compounds. And there we go. Let's grab a seat. Fantastic. And then we can go out and see if we can grab a ton of research, which would just be perfect. There we go. The one thing I would like to make, actually, is a generator, if I'm able to make that. Let's have a look. Generator needs copper. Yeah, we should be able to do that. There we go. Let's pop that in there, just so we can make sure that we still have power while we're out and about. There we go, as we can get plant matter anywhere. Right, let's go. Let's go and get... Some more uh, research. Woohoo! And there we go. Just, oh, uh, just over the hill behind our base. There is another one of these things. Let's get a bit closer. There we go. Oh, no research in this one, but... Oh, that's handy. Organics. We'll stick that on our generator. No, nope, at the front, please. <laughs> Let's turn around a bit. There we go. And some copper. Excellent. That can go on us. Oh, and there's another one. <laughs> Let's go and see what's in this one. This planet's a bit different, you know, from the first one. There's a lot less plant life around than there was on the other one. But it makes it interesting having something totally different. And these sort of stalactite things that pop around all over the place. Oh, there we go. So we've got some hydrazine fuel and... Oh, let's try and pop that on us. There we go. And some copper. That always comes in handy. So actually, thinking about it... I haven't seen any plant life yet to be able to get power to run this thing. So, oh, here we go. We'll have some research here. So I've really got to be careful what I do. Otherwise, I could get stranded. Do you know what? I hadn't thought of that. There we go. Some research. Let's grab this. Excellent. That will go on the back of here. Let's just check if there's anything. Oh, there's always some other things in here. Worth digging down a bit. Oh, what have we got? We've got some compounds, we've got some aluminium, some titanium. I'm just going to stick that power, I think. Whoops, on the back. We have the back slot. <laughs> Come on, Em. Come on, you can do it. There we go. It's filling up nicely. And we have some aluminium as well. Nice. And I think there's probably another chair. There is. I'd, whoa, I don't think we're going to be able to bring that back as well. Um, I'm just wondering whether... Let's see if we can do this. If I take that compound off, if I put the generator on me, will the chair go on the front? No, it won't. Okay, well, worth a try. Let's take this stuff back. There we go. So let's see what this research is. Let's grab that. I could do with putting a storage rack on the back of my thing. So we'll try and do that soon, hopefully. What are we going to get? Power cells. Fantastic. And next, we can add some storage to the back of our little truck, which will be fantastic. That will be really helpful. So we can carry back even more. Not any research, we can carry back even more resources, which will be fantastic. This generator... Where did the generator end up? Have I got it on me? Oh, the generator seems to have disappeared. Weird. Anyway, I was going to say, that generator's a bit useless, because it's very rare that we're actually going to come across um, any organic stuff. And we can't put this on, unfortunately. But what we can do is take this one and add that to the truck. There we go. 
Yay! On a compound hunt. Look what I found. Excellent. Oh man, that came out the blue. Good grief. Oh man, I'm going down in the cave. Let's go down in the cave and hide down here. Oh no, let's not go down in the cave. Okay, I think we'll be fine if we stay in our vehicle. Good grief. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> I got a bit too close and I lost my two <laughs> solar things. There we go, these were on the end. But they sort of seem to clip off if you get too close. There we go. That's what's been powering me on my collection. Okay, so let's see. We want to get a lot more storage. So, have I got room on me? No, I haven't. But what we can do is put that on there. There we go. We can make another storage. Let's pop that on the side here. There we go. Excellent. Now, when that fills up with power, we can make another storage, and so on and so forth. Okay, I think it's about time we upgraded to wind power. The sun power just isn't lasting us long enough. Uh, we're going to need somewhere to attach that. So, let me add another attachment over here. Do we have some resin? Well, there we go. Look, there's one on the back of here. Excellent. And then we've got our wind vane, our wind turbine. That can go on there for now. And hopefully, when the wind kicks in... We will start getting some more power. Ooh, found a nice automatic resin. There we go. Thing over here. I don't know what they're called. Um, and I'm hoping they're going to add back in the machines that we had before in one of the earlier test versions of the game. Where you could actually automatically harvest stuff. Whoa! <laughs> what a jump! There we go. There's some more research. So if they do, I've now got that marked out. And I know where we're going. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this one. I know there's some research under that. But let's take the research from here and see what there is also inside. There it is. So let's have a look down here first. We've got another seat. Oh, look at this. This will be fantastic. So we've got some lithium, which means I can make... What was that one? Solar? A battery. That'll be really good. We've got some more aluminium, we've got some copper, we've got some organic. Organic, not too fussed about to be honest. There we go. And then let's see what we've got over here. Some more research, fantastic. Can I put that on there? At the minute we've got power on there, that's fine. I can have that back. There we go. Excellent, right, let's head back. Right, let's see what we're getting. Hopefully something cool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Something cool. Does it need some more power? <laughs> it looks like it does. Oh, is it giving us the rare titanium? Fantastic. So I'm running backwards and forwards for research, hoping to get the truck. But I'll be honest, this little thing... I mean, obviously the truck can come back with more of a load. But this little thing is virtually unflippable, as long as you don't whack it into great big... <laughs> Uh, okay, how many of you knew that was going to happen? But it's so fast. And with a couple of solar doodabs on the front and the back. I don't want to get too close. Otherwise, it will hook up and those solar things will fall off. But with a couple of those, one on the front and one on the back. It's just brilliant. It just never seems to run out of power. Okay, let's see what this one is. Hopefully, we have enough power. Let's stick my battery on there as well. See what it is. Come on. Be something good. Truck! Hooray! <laughs> right, what do we need to make the truck? And hopefully I've got everything, because I've got loads of bits and pieces here. Let's see. We need four aluminium. We may actually be in luck. I mean, the easiest way to see is if I move that over there. Yeah, there we go. Four aluminium. Let's make a truck. Woohoo! And if I make a couple of those, you might daisy chain them together like we've been trying to do for a while now. So we can go out and get loads of resources. Yay! Excellent! And we know where there is a spare seat as well, which will save us making one of those. Ha ha! There it is. Stop! Excellent. We'll stick that on the back. Brilliant! Let's take that back and add that to our truck. Right, let's see how this goes. Let's head this way. Come on. Yay. So now we can bring back even more of all the lovely stuff that we need. 
Although this one's a bit herky-jerky. Ah, we'll be fine. Let's go and grab a load of compound. Oh, there's some up there. And an absolute load of resin. Do you know what? These things are much easier to drive when they're full up. I mean, these are rammed to the capacity with... There we go. Let's stop over here with compound. And it doesn't bounce as much as normal. So I'm absolutely loving taking these two things out. Really cool. Aha! Well, it's now a couple of days later. Oh, look! Ha! <laughs> we got two research pods right here. And there's been an update to the game over the weekend. And it's going absolutely fantastic. And if you notice there... Ah, something I didn't know. Shift right click on things, straight into your backpack. Fantastic. There's hydrazine on the surface. My FPS is absolutely amazing again, which is brilliant. I am so pleased. Um, and there's a little thing that I want to try. I'm going for a little hunt for resin at the moment. So, But I'm just looking around to see what there is. There's like all these weird caves and whoa. Let's not fall down in a hole. Oh, and there's like gas plants over there. Oh, excellent. That means there's some research under there. We can grab that. So I'm just going to park my truck here. I'm probably going to grab... <laughs> Let's not try and get run over. I'm grabbing the power as we go as well. But I'm doing a resin run at the moment. I want to grab as much resin as possible. And I have got a really, really cool thing that I want to show you guys. I can't wait. So let me chuck all of this onto here. There we go. Yep. That's filling up everything else. Excellent. Let's go in here and grab this. Let's dig these guys out. And run away! I do know there's research under absolutely everything on the planet. I tend to not grab it all. I'm, I'm picking choosy about what I want. Because if I can't carry it, there's no point grabbing it. There we go. That one's done. And also, these filters. don't. Uh, these filters here. Everybody seems to think that they help you with the uh, the gas clouds. They do not. That is a myth. Everybody thinks they do. They basically are a rebreather. They make your oxygen last longer. So, to all those of you that have been putting that in the comments, you can stop doing that now. There we go. That's going to stop. That's going to stop. Right, I'll grab some research. I'll grab a load of resin. And then I'm going to show you something really, really cheaty. You're going to love it. Look at this terrain over here. It's like the mountain is resting on some big rocks over a great big ravine. This this wasn't here before. I'm sure the terrain has changed in the update again, but that just looks brilliant, does it? I must say, oh, look at it. It's like the Grand Canyon. Good grief, it's amazing. I have to say, the terrain in this game just keep. Oh, right, don't start glitching out. Just keeps getting better and better. As we go around. I don't know whether they're tweaking it in the updates. Whether it's just that uh, we're just seeing more terrain as things change. But look at this. Oh man. Visibility is down to almost zero. I can't actually see. Oh there's my beacons over there. I can't see if there's any holes in the ground. And before you guys say it. I've been trying to take the extra seat off the back of the truck that I'm pulling. The little car that I'm pulling. So I could carry more research. But for some reason it won't let me take it off. I don't know why. But yeah, we'll certainly upgrade to Daisy Chain more trucks very soon. But I'm back with more resin. Right. Am I safe to get out? How's the weather? Yep, yeah, it's passing by over there. Excellent. Right. So we want to expand out a little bit more. So let's grab some of the resin and stuff that we've got here. In fact, what I'm going to do is pop those on the back of this. So, I want to show you something super cheated. So, we all know that basically, hydrazine is um, made from just pure air. If you get the machine that makes hydrazine, click that on there, you can just basically make it from power. So, very easy to make. Let's do that, do that. Let's stand back. Okay, here we go. So, let's go through these. So, the fuel condenser, yeah, basically just takes power, turns it into hydrazine. Hydrazine is worth a lot of stuff, but I want to make... Oh, we don't have the trade station thing yet. Okay, that's fine. So, we know we can go around and get a load of trading, uh, trading things, get a load of research things. I'm going to keep researching until I get the trade station, and I want to show you something with that. Let's see what's in this one. Have a little sip of tea while we're waiting. Is it going to be the trade station already? <laughs> trade platform. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so let's make... The trade platform needs aluminium. 
So now we can trade things. So let's see. If I add these onto here, they have a different yield. So this will give us two compound, that will give us two resin, two organic, one laterite. So basically that's how it works. If we just stick a few of these on here, we're going to have to be nimble fingered and be quick here. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep one of those. But we're going to say, what should we trade that for? Let's trade two hydrazine for... We don't have any coal. Is it going to give us lithium? Did it say? One lithium. Yes, we start making batteries. So we click the button to trade. And before it goes, we can shift click those back again. Hooray! Off it goes into space. It's already disappeared. And when it comes back... Here it comes. We can hear it coming in. Yay! <laughs> We've actually still got the lithium without giving anything away. What a super cheaty way of getting cool stuff. But you have to be quick with the shift click. So let's get another one. There it goes. And we'll take that back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Away it goes again. I'm sure this is going to be patched out of the game because it's not the way the game is supposed to be played. Use it at your own risk. <laughs> but, um, well, there's no risk really, is it? This is about basically getting free stuff. But yeah, I'm sure they'll patch this out straight away because it's I think it's become known to the devs. But until it is, you can use it and make some cool stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get a few bits of cool stuff. And uh, I want to build myself the biggest spaceship that we can. So when we head off to a new planet... Yay, another lithium! When we head off to a new planet, we can um, take a load of stuff with us. So yep, I'll be back. Okay, I've upgraded to a couple of trucks. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I'm going to fill these things with research. This could be this could be a complete disaster. I know in the past these things tend to glitch out, but hey, let's have some fun. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go over this way and see if we can find some cool research. Yep, yeah, it's coming with me. Excellent. Right, we need just one more. And there it is. Look, and also something that was discovered. Okay, let's make sure I can get out of here without dying. Let's grab this last one first. There we go. That's what we need. That will actually go. If you can turn around. Let's drop that over here. That will actually go on the back of here. There we go. Oh. There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've managed to bring back with us. We've still kept our solar panels. But look, there is a connection over here, which I believe if we take that off and go a bit closer. Right, the sun is slowly starting to rise, and if you notice here, on my power on the vehicle, there's some space here for some extra power. I've taken off the uh, solars that were charging us before, so there's no other way for this to get power. It is just connected to this massive solar panel that's been that's fallen out of the sky and landed here. That's crash landed. Look at those planets in alignment. Fantastic. We're going to be going to some of those in this episode. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's wait for the sun to come up. There we go. I've reconnected it. And the power is going through. So, there we go. If you have a truck in between this and your base, you could basically power your entire base from one of these things. So, that is really cool. Right, I'm going to take this research back home. Right. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Good. Some titanium. The habitat. Perfect. We need that for going to other planets. Very cool. The crane. Fantastic. We haven't had that. Cool. Some more titanium. Always handy. So the way it works with these research pods, everyone gives you something different. It is random, but if you've had this particular one before, it will just give you resources. Um, if you haven't had it before, then you'll get this little symbol and it will give you some research that you haven't had. Storage. Okay, well that's just totally disproved what I said, because we've already had storage, which is a bit weird. Unless that's... Oh, I'll tell you what that is. I bet that's the big storage to go on the back of the spaceships. I bet that's what it is. Which, this is going to be spaceships, isn't it? It has to be. Winch. Okay, we didn't, haven't had that one. I still want to get the spaceship. The big one. Come on. Ah, oh, some more titanium. Okay, let's do some more research gathering. Oh, I forgot we got one more on the back. Well, this could be the one. Let's see. Press the button. Let's see what this thing is. Come on, be the big spaceship. Oh, it's going to be something good. What's it going to be? 
Spaceship! Hooray! Right, we are going to build a big spaceship. Now, just to fill you guys in, I don't think I've mentioned this, I was mistakenly under the impression that this small thing here, I called it the puddle jumper, could only jump uh, within the area, on the planet that you're in, so different areas. I didn't realise it could still go to other planets. It had a, an extra orange symbol above, which I mistakenly thought if you press that it would just take you back home again. I'd never done that spaceship before. Some of you guys are watching every video known to man to do with Astroneer, and you know everything, because you're experts. Um, but I hadn't done it before, I hadn't seen it, so, you know, we were learning. So now we can build the shuttle. No, not the shuttle. <laughs> uh, the spaceship, which is even bigger. That is what we are going to take into space with all of our cool stuff. There we go, we already have the copper that we need. Let's make this thing. And then I'm going to add some of those storage things on the back, the large ones, we can add our chair to that, and we are going to take, oh, look at that, we are going to take a load of stuff with us, I've got hydrazine to load this thing up, there we go, and I've got some more around here somewhere as well, so we've got the crane, the storage, that's it, I think that just takes, yes it does, yeah, that just takes compound, and we know we've got some of that, let's add some more over here, and I'm 99% sure we can still add a chair onto the side of that. So, let me just test that. I think we did that last time. Uh, I've got a spare chair here. Let's grab... Oh, this still won't let me take the chair off. Very weird, very weird. Okay, I'll grab the chair off of this one. There we go. Thank you, just for the test. Come on, let's get over here. Yes, there we go. So, if we add some more storage on this side as well... Then we can add these storage things, popping off the side of those, like this, and add even more stuff on here. We are going to be, there we go, absolutely full of gear when we head off to another planet. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to load up this thing with all the stuff. In fact, I'm probably going to make a habitat, so we can set up the new base from there. Oh, it's going to be exciting! So I think we make the habitat here, don't we? Let's have a look. Habitat, there we go. What do we need? Compound. When are we going to get it? Now! We've got tons of compound. How much compound do we need? Oh, we'll drop that one on the floor. There we go. That can come with us as well to start our new base. Bum, 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 bum. Yay! There we go. So let's add that. Can that just go on the side? Oh, it can look fantastic. Right, let me load up with some other gear. Okay, so it's time to say goodbye to our base over here. By the way, the other spacecraft is under here. It got knocked over by this crane arm. Very weird, very weird. Um, so, I've got with me on here, as you can see... Oh, look, there it is. I've been looking for that. I've got two lots of lithium. Excellent. So, we have a seat. We have a pod. We have a... Got eight compounds. Got a load of lithium for batteries. We've got 16 resin, so both sides of this is full up. We've got a load of hydrazine. This is filled with hydrazine. The little slots on the side here have a couple of extra hydrazine on. And we have some goodies and bits and pieces on here as well. I may swap some of these out just before I go for, let's see, for some of the titanium that I've got over here. But these will all come in handy once we get up there. Let's see. Oh, actually, no, I think I'll take those with us because that will enable us to build some of the buildings that we need. And then we can get titanium if we need it. And then on my back, I've got a load of solar panels, some compound for tethers. And that's it. So I think it is time to head up into space to go to another planet. Let's say goodbye to this one. So this has been from start to space in one episode. And I'm going to see now using the larger spaceship... Oh no, I forgot to decouple the tether. No, it's fine. It was showing us coupled, but they must have fixed that. We are going to see... Woohoo! What planet we can get to next. Oh, look at that. I just love the screenshots in this. So here's the button that I didn't press last time. We are not going to land on this planet anymore. We are going to see... Wow! Oh, it's nice to look at this with some actual FPS. Where we can go to. We've got the exotic. We've got the barren moon. The exotic planet. The radiated planet. I want to go to one of these other ones. If one of these two comes into view, because we haven't seen those before, I would like to try one of those. So, oh my goodness, look at this. It's amazing. 
Oh, it's looking like this one. Is this one going to come into focus? So basically, we're we're orbiting the Terran planet, the first planet. These, of course, are all orbiting the sun. We can. Arid. Now, that would be an interesting one. Let's head over there. I haven't seen what that one looks like. I'm expecting it to be pretty harsh and dismal. Oh, man, here we go. Look at this. And now we can pick a spot to land. I'm actually wondering whether... With the fuel... I mean, that's hardly used any fuel yet at all. Whether then we'd be able to expand out to another planet. Let's just do that and have a look. So we can get the radiated, the arid, the terran, the barren. Oop. <laughs> that's our base down there, which should be rendered over here. I want to see what that one's called over there. And what this one's called. Because that is, that is all six. One, two, three, four... Five, six. These are the six different ones we can go. Let me just see what the names are, but I'm pretty sure we're going to land on the arid one and check this one out as we haven't been there before. Oh, this one's coming into focus. What's this? Exotic. So is that the same? Oh, yeah, we have seen the exotic one before. Yep, yep. So it's just that one over there. We don't know what it is. So we've got Terran, we've got Baron, we've got Radiated, we've got Exotic, Arid, and this one. Oh, it's coming into focus. And this looks to me like it's the furthest planet out as well. Here we go. Are we going to get around there? We are. We're going to be able to get to this one. Tundra. Oh, that could be interesting. Well, okay. We know all the planets. I would like to go to the arid one. So I'm going to pick a spot down here. And we're going to check this one out. I'm assuming that wind power... Um, anywhere will do, really. Let's pick that one. I'm assuming wind power is going to be the power source of use here. Oh, we're going in for a landing. Here we go. We're coming down. We've landed. Whoa, what is that thing? And we're like in the little depression here. And there's something there. Oh my goodness. We are here. Finally, we've done it. Oh, it's so windy. Zero to space in one episode. Guys, be sure to hit the big red B to subscribe to my channel. We are going to carry on our adventure here on the very tough, I am sure, arid planet. And we may even pay that trader a visit and do a few trades to make up for our cheatiness earlier on. Don't forget to check out as well my cheaty how to get free resources video. If you missed that, it's about two or three minutes long. Just wraps up what we saw earlier in this LP. And I will see you very soon for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.